Hey viewers, welcome to another Bicycle Restoration Man video. Today we'll be doing a product review on the relatively new Tire Monkey and also doing a comparison with the Crank Brothers Tire Lever. When I saw them use the uh, Tire Monkey, uh, it looked like another good way to uh, take the tire off since you're putting the lever in a horizontal fashion so you're coming around the tire without wrapping your knuckles against the spokes. Now, I was reading the reviews on the Tire Monkey and most of them were good but uh, there were a few that said that the product actually broke while using it. It looks pretty somewhat beefy here but um, we'll see how it works when we use it. Now it came just like this. This was the packaging. On um, the back it gives you uh, some simple instructions here and uh, tells you that it, um, it works on both hooked and hookless rims. You can use it with your left and right hand as well as you can with the Crank Brothers and uh, all types of bikes of course. So uh, let's get it out of the packaging here and we'll give it a whirl. Okay so first we'll get the uh, lever underneath the tire in between the tire and the tube. Okay we got it level now. I like that it's horizontal so your knuckles are away from the spoke. You don't put it in the groove here, just the groove should be outside. And we'll start pushing here. It's nice, you can get some good leverage on it. And it went all the way around. That came off pretty good. Okay, with the Crank Brothers now. Go ahead and put that under there. Now with the Crank Brothers, you got to push it down closer to the spokes here. You do have some leverage. It's not quite as easy, but it works okay. Okay, now I thought I'd show you with a mountain bike tire here. I'll go ahead and use the uh, Tire Monkey first. There we go, we got it. A little more challenge there to get it in place because you have to put the lever pretty far vertically there. Okay, so we'll just start pushing here. Whoop, slipped out. Well, that's why we're doing this, just to show you. And as you push, it looks like this is kind of slipping out here. I don't know if that's a function of the tire or the lever, but it's nice to have the um, leverage like this. Oops, sorry there. And it slipped out there. There we go. Okay, well, there's a real live view of it. And now we'll go ahead and use the Crank Brothers. Okay, so again with the Crank Brothers, we have to put it down more so it's more vertical than it is horizontal. So, uh, start pushing here. Again, with this, it's a little, just a little more difficult to get it going, but once you get it going, it's, it's easy enough. These tires are pretty good to, to work with, but just to give you an idea. So the Crank Brothers is a little bit harder to get going there, but of course it stayed in and didn't slip out. Okay, for the installation now, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, bead going there. Then you use the notch, put it in the rim. And now I'll show you from a different angle here. Okay, so with the lever out here horizontally, just go ahead and push. Okay, with the Crank Brothers now, I'll go ahead and same thing, get that started here. And we'll find the notch right here. 
Just clip that in. And just get your fingers in there and push. Now with this one, went in pretty good because the tire's pretty easy to go in, but I had to either push with my thumb more than my hand because my hand was getting pretty close to the spokes there. And now with the road tire, we'll go ahead and use the tire monkey. Get that started. And the groove there. Okay, start pushing. I like, I like the leverage here. Be able to keep your elbow straighter. Get near the end. Make sure we get the tube in there. So we're able to push. There we go. Got it in. I think we got good leverage because we were able to push with our arm because the lever's out horizontally. Okay, now with the Crank Brothers, again, we'll go ahead and get the uh, bead started here. And we'll use the uh, clip here. And we'll start pushing, put our fingers in there. And again, we have to be careful. Make sure the tube is up. This is a little, to me, a little harder to push because it's, um, it, it's pushing the the lever outward instead of forward. Let's see if I can come in from the other side. Yep, there we go. Okay, so with this crank brother, it was easier to um, pull it than it was to push it on. Okay, so final thoughts here. Uh, we'll start with the tire monkey. The, uh, on the road tire, there was good leverage all the way around while removing, and uh, no issues with that. Went pretty well. I do like that you can put the uh, lever out horizontally, or that's how it's made to use, and push with your arm. Gives you a better leverage on it. On the install for the road tire, it went pretty well again. Uh, the notch, of course, just sits on the rim, does not snap in, but it still felt pretty good in there. didn't... Uh, move around very much or did it it did not slip out at all uh, it was a little difficult near the end like it always is on most tires uh, but it made it all the way around uh, with pushing it with my arm straight there now with the mountain tire uh, I had issues getting this in place to take the tire off and it kept slipping out of course when I went around the tire too when I got near the valve it slipped out again uh, but then, you know, eventually we got the tire off all the way around. On the install for the mountain tire, it went well. It slipped in. Um, of course, you know, it just sits on the rim. Went all the way around fine. It did not slip off or anything. Got the tire on in one, uh, one fell swoop around there. Uh, I think the issue with the uh, removal is that uh, the lip here is pretty shallow, and I think that's what caused it to slip out, whereas the uh, Crank Brothers um, is a little, more, little tighter here, more of an angle. Okay, with the Crank Brothers, uh, it went well on the uh, removal. Uh, a little hard to get going because I think because of the angle here. But once you get going, it went around fine and uh, removed the tire with no difficulties. So with the install for the road bike on the Crank Brothers, um, you have this other end here that clips into the rim, which I kind of like. It's a good secure feeling, and it's still, it's not difficult to push because of that. Uh, when we got near the end, of course, it was uh, difficult to uh, get it in by pushing, I think because we were pushing outward. So I put it on the other side and pulled, and that uh, got it on fully. 
in retrospect, it probably would have been a better idea just to put it on and pull it all the way around, and that way I would have got it on um, without having to take it off. With the mountain bike tire, um, it was a little more difficult to get going, of course, to get the tire off. But then uh, once we did that, it came off fine, went all the way around, no problems. However, with the mountain bike tire install, I was able to push it, push it on all the way around without having to take it off and come the other way. And, of course, that has a lot to do with the tire and how tight it was. Uh, which one do I prefer? Uh, to me, I, I don't see any reason to switch to the Tire Monkey. Uh, the Crank Brothers, the one thing I liked most about it is that it clips into the rim. gives you a more secure feeling. It's a little longer, a little bigger overall. Um, it fits into your back cycling pocket just fine. It might be a little big for some um, rider's uh, backpack or seat pack. I think the Tire Monkey is a good alternative to the standard tire levers. It is a little wider. I like the grip on it and that you can keep it horizontal and push or pull with it. And again, I did see the reviews on where some of these broke. I'm not sure where they broke. They didn't say. Um, it's pretty beefy to me. I don't know where it would break, but um, I think it would be a good alternative to any standard tire lever. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope that helps, and uh, stay tuned for our next one. We're working on a uh, Lotus Competition bike, and we'll have that video out pretty soon.